Good morning guys, welcome to today. I've got a jacket on, it might actually be warm again, finally. In Canada, where we live, and we have a long weekend this weekend, we call it the May 24th weekend. And, um, I've never heard anyone call it that. <laughs> yeah, because... I live under a rock. <laughs> Yeah, you live under a rock. It's the May 24th weekend, and we are, it's usually camping weekend, so everybody camps. If you're young and you have a, a group of friends that you camp with, those that group camps. Sometimes families camp. We used to camp so much during this weekend. We have a lot of plans this weekend. We're super excited. One of them is show prep, which I'm really excited. Like, this is going to be something... This is, gonna be, this is big for us. But anyway, we're headed into town to do all of our grocery shopping because it's gonna be a big weekend. That's all I gotta say. First stop is the tax store. I'm gonna show you guys what we're getting today. Something new. The storm will be on ground. All right. Oh, we have a picture on it? Picture on it. Oh, so there's no picture on the bag, but what we ended up getting, you guys know that Chino is rehabbing and Storm came home, and we wanna put weight on both of them. So we've been giving Chino, he can't have grain especially. And we're trying to figure out his feet, and so we're trying to keep sugar, because sugar and bad feet go hand in hand. So, um, so we're making all these changes to try and keep his weight up and get his weight up. He lost a little bit of weight when Storm came home because he spent all of his time guarding his girls and not eating. So not only are we now trying to keep his weight up, but we want to put a little bit of weight on him. So anyway, I heard about these and I've seen other people use these hay cubes. So we've been giving him hay cubes because that's the only real thing we can do. We give him oil, we give him some supplements, but the only real added food that we can give him are hay cubes and we've been doing that and he hates them and some people feed hay cubes dry but we don't because I'm too much of a worry wart and I don't want him to have like the choking risk so we soak it and he hates it soaked and like all of our horses hate hay cubes soaked hay cubes they just hate them so he eats them but lately he hasn't been eating them he had been eating them and doing well lately he kind of has gone away from it and doesn't want to eat them so um, we looked into it and they have these new these new hate cubes I don't know if they're that new newer than what we're familiar with but they're called dry max and they are hay cubes that break apart really really quickly. It's just it, way less choking hazard and you don't soak them, you just feed them dry. I've seen other horses on them and doing really well on them and it puts on weight and they love them so you can feed a lot of it. And it's just like the highest quality hay that you can get. Anyway, it's called Dry Max. We're gonna try it. I want like Chino to be doing the best that he can and, and this is our newest thing. Like I won't ever just have a horse do poorly and just say, oh well, that's just how they are. I'm always gonna be fighting and trying to figure out what they need that can make them better. So anyway, we're gonna try this dry max, we're gonna give it to Storm and Chino and see how it goes. But I think it's gonna work really well for him. So this is something new we've never done before. Uh, Sam and I Sam and I both had to go into town. I had to get groceries and he had to go to the doctor. So um, he dropped us off, so now we're waiting outside the store for him. But it's nice, we're just relaxing here. Gabby went with Sam. Sophie wanted these things, let's see. They're curlers. Hopefully they work. Yeah, she's been trying a bunch of different curling kind of things. Because I like curling my hair, just I don't like sitting there and curling. Because it's, it's boring. It's boring, it's beautiful. It being beautiful is boring. So, yesterday, I was sitting down and a spray bottle sprayed me in the face. Yeah, so there was a spray bottle on the counter, like some cleaning spray bottle. It's like a pressurized bottle. You have to pull the trigger and then it sprays out. She sat down beside it and it sprayed her in the face and she didn't even touch it. So then she and got then freaked out. Today in the store, um, some bread stuff fell. Yeah, like we were far from it. We were just walking up to it, but we were far from it. And all of a no sudden, one was near. nobody was there. Nobody even in the whole aisle. And all of a sudden, bread just fell at our feet on the floor. We weren't even close to it. So a ghost is haunting me. <laughs> and the radio turned off a couple days ago. Really? Yes. So, uh, so Sophie has somebody who's trying to tell her something <laughs> from the other side. Is that what you think? I don't know. I don't want it there. <laughs> I don't want it. Oh, I want to show them the other thing. All right, she's got one more thing. She's going to show you. I got foundation. She's always getting some kind of makeup. 
Because I need more foundation. Because mine. I feel like this is her favorite kind because no, it's I've a never pump. Used that one before. It's a pump though. Yep, the one that I have, it has a tiny bit. They had the kind that I have, but they didn't have my shade. All right, we are finally home. And these are the things that we actually ended up getting when we were on our way home. The store phoned us and said, we gave you the wrong stuff. They have a new employee. So we had to go back and switch it out, but they this were really kind. Yeah, this is exciting. We got carrots. We got, storm. yeah, storm. Storm's picky. Storm's picky. Your boy is picky. Our boy, I should say My our boy. boy. I know, Sophie loves him. All right, let's carry this stuff in. How are we doing it? Here, take this. <laughs> I'll take the carrots. Oh, that's that pretty light. This first aid kit has already worked so good for us. Every time I need something, I just know where it is. Like, and it's such a handy spot. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> the dogs are like, what is it? So also you can use these as treats. So, so you guys probably already all know about these things. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> no. <laughs> they have smaller ones. We could have got the smaller ones. Oh no. Whoa. But essentially, these are hay cubes, but they break apart differently. They're like, I don't know. Anyway, they're not, they're meant. They're disgusting. <laughs> so we just tried it. They're specifically meant to not have to be watered. And it's the watering that makes Chino not want to eat it. Is that enough? For no, her? up to here. So uh, for now, until both you of them. You could have said up to the line for it. Yeah, we're going to give up twice a day. And we're going to try it. How much? Half a bucket of that? Um, Three quarters. Up to the line. Okay, so. Wait, I want to give it to Tommy. All right, well, we're giving it to Chino first. Get his bucket. Well, hello, baby. Look at this baby. I was looking at her eye, and then she has, like, some goo in her other eye, so I wanted to look at it. So I'm, like, turning her head in my hand, and she just stands here. Yeah, she doesn't care. Well, they went right for the hay cubes. <laughs> they have all this hay in their stall, and they went right for the hay cubes. Lots of water. So let's hope, guys. We have been shopping all day, you guys. I bought a bunch of stuff on Marketplace for Jacob because I have so many girl stuff and I don't have a lot of boy stuff. And I have more stuff back there. That thing Watch. shoots. It shoots. Yeah, I think he'll really like, he loves army toys. So anyway, I got this and then we picked up another one earlier today. But we've literally been shopping, play. getting ready for this weekend. I'm super excited. But um, I told you guys we've been putting the horses on grass. We do it really slow. Like, you can go kind of fast and do it like an hour one day and then two hours the next day. But I just feel like our horses can't handle that. We broke it. Um, so we go extra slow. I'm extra cautious. I can't help myself. But uh, today, we're um, but we're down at the barn now to put the horses out on grass. We take a good month before we have them out on grass for a long time. Like, for the whole day. And even when we do take a long time, I still see that they get belly aches. Like, you can just tell. Every time we bring them in, I've shown you guys before, they just stand there like they're all stuffed because of all, because they they stuff themselves. So I'm gonna show you guys. We did not bring our proper shoes. We just came right down to the barn from shopping. Um, but we're gonna show you how we do it. Sam's got Stormy Boy. You're gonna love out there. You're going out to eat? All right, so there goes Storm. There goes Chino. They all know at this time of the day, they're all like, I'm coming. <laughs> and I have Penny. She's such a good girl. She literally comes out the door and waits for me. Chino did not eat all those things. There goes Penny. <laughs> Whose halter do I leave on? Just take them both off. Ellie. Take Ellie out of the way. This is what we do every night. We put all the horses in the field. They get to have their dinner. They get to have their dinner time. And usually it's Gracie. Uh oh. There they go. Oh, honey, honey's too lazy. <laughs> there goes Gracie. And there's Gracie. <laughs> it's usually Gracie. Gracie's like stuck between a pony and a and a horse. There goes Willow. And there goes Willow. So we bring them out at night when the sugar is less high. Obviously. Yeah. Well, I killed it. And because it takes all of us, but my favorite thing is seeing like all of our horses something. in the field. She wants you. You know she sees. So the ponies stay together, and then the big horses go off on oh, their own. 
Yes. You left Storm's halter on? He won't be able to come. So uh, the weird, the funny thing is, is that Storm <laughs> doesn't come in. Honey's not even in the good grass. Yeah. Honey's like, oh, just eat this stuff. <laughs> But honestly, seeing all of our horses out here at one time just makes me happy. Like, this is, these are our horses. <laughs> so we just about got killed by a... No, it pooed. By a bird. I didn't get pooed on, but it missed me barely. All this ground here still is super soft. Like, the further down there you get, it's better. The grass is better over here. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> She's not following me. No. Ellie's, Ellie will come. Hey, That's the first time she's that. <laughs> She's got a mouthful of hay and she's like, get away from me. <laughs> Ellie, watch out. Oh, look, this horse intercepts me. She's like, don't touch my baby. She never runs away from me. She's ne yeah, she's never run from us before. <laughs> she's thinking about it now. It's much later. The horses are coming in now. I thought I'd bring you guys because sometimes it gets a little dicey when... <laughs> We try and bring them in. Willow's already looking. She's like, oh no, not that time of day again. So I get a lot of messages from people that live in different areas and don't understand the reasoning behind a lot of the things we do. The reason that we wean our horses onto the grass is because the snow kills the grass. So we have to wait for the grass to grow again each season. I know a lot of places that, oh, oh you caught her. I tricked her. <laughs> A lot of places that have grass all year, you don't have to wean them on because they don't have to go off of it. But because, but the storm's looking, Gabby. But because our horses are off grass for like about six months out of the, well, maybe about, yeah, maybe about six months out of the year, it's a shock to their system. So, oh, wow, look at honey's belly, it's huge. They already have big bellies. <laughs> there goes number one. I wasn't even trying to catch you. The ground is still really soft though. They should actually not be out here yet. Hey Storm. All right. <laughs> Look at Ellie. She's like, I can't see anybody. Oh, got Storm. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> you push her this way. Wait, hold this. <laughs> hold this one. Gracie will try it up to you. I just got rain on <laughs> She's like, I better eat as much as I can. <laughs> You're fat over here. <laughs> Be careful. I'm trying to catch her. Gracie, let her catch her. Grab Gracie if you can. Uh, no, he's protecting the baby. All right, yeah. So if we lead the, um, if we lead, if we lead Honey in, Gracie comes. The trouble, <laughs> Gabby can get her horses. Well, the trouble are, are usually Gracie and Willow. Sam's coming to get Gracie. So Honey was born on grass and has had <laughs> grass. Look how pretty she is. <laughs> Look how pretty she is. Mom, we don't chase po ponies. Why are there sprinkles? <laughs> All right, here, you take this one, too. <laughs> Grab mine. It's a family affair. Aw, she's like, <laughs> you see her back there? She's like acting like she's pushing the boys off. I think she really likes the, having two boys. <laughs> Hi, honey, don't you run? She really knows the routine. Like, they all kind of know the routine. So none of them are, like, super bad. All right, Penny's probably the <laughs> worst. Let's go. And my little dog. See, she turned into such a cute little farm dog. She always makes sure I'm in her sight. Waits for me if she gets too far ahead. See? All right. We did it. Boys into the stalls. Girls into the arena. Except for Honey goes in her stall. Oh. I love it, though. It's like... I love nighttime like routines with the horses. So now, little pony has so much energy. Ellie, 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 Ellie. Ellie. She has so much energy now. Yeah. So. Go in. So they'll get all their food now. They'll get their grain and they get um more hay. They get hay because 
they're only out there for like an hour, an hour and a half each day. We decided to put Chino out because Chino is a founder risk when he gets a lot of grain. So we can't have any hard grain and he gets an abscess every time we introduce something new. So like he got an abscess before recently because we took him off of the grass when it was starting to grow and we put him back on grass. Once he gets through that little transition and he's actually on the grass, he's a little, he, he does fine. But we're just trying to play it by ear and see how he, how he does and see how it goes. Because it just breaks my heart to have him separated from his other friends, his other horses. But we're going to be watching and make sure. Like, we're just doing him super slow. And I love honey on grass. She's so energetic. I know. She's cute. She drives up the hill with her own free will. <laughs> yeah. She's Girl, a lazy she only downhills. Anyway, that is it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow starts the May 24th long weekend, and it's gonna be a fun I one. Mean, don't you know that you're beautiful?